Tonight, a guilty plea in the death of a Nassau County deputy. Court records show a judge dismissed Francisco Portillo Fuentes' felony murder charge. Portillo, Portillo Fuentes pleaded guilty to aggravated manslaughter in the death of Deputy Eric Oliver in 2016. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel spoke with Oliver's father this evening. Corley, what does he think about the guilty plea? Deputy Eric Oliver's father tells me that this has been a long time coming and he's hoping his family can finally move forward. Francisco Portillo Fuentes now faces up to 12 years in prison and possible deportation after his sentence. Now that he's pleaded guilty to aggravated manslaughter in the death of Nassau County Deputy Eric Oliver. Deputy Oliver's father, Doug Oliver, says there is some relief. Do you feel like now you can finally get justice for your son? Yeah, we finally got some closure and justice for my son. All the family members agree upon that. Portillo Fuentes is from El Salvador and was in the U.S. illegally. Detectives say he previously had been deported from the U.S. twice. In November 2016, detectives say Border Patrol was investigating a truck Portillo Fuentes was in with other men at a Yuli gas station. Detectives say Portillo Fuentes ran off. Oliver and another deputy followed him. During the chase, detectives say an SUV struck and killed Deputy Oliver as he ran across A1A trying to stop Portillo Fuentes. So we've basically forgiven him for what he did and what he does. But the biggest thing was that, you know, he's never showed remorse. He's never sat there and said he was sorry to us. Deputy Oliver left behind a young daughter who recently turned 11. She mentioned the other day that uh, she missed her daddy really wanted to talk to him, but he's not here, but she understands where he's at. Oliver's father says he's grateful he is one step closer to justice for his son. Since Deputy Oliver's death, his family has created the Blue Shield Family Foundation, which helps with finances for fallen first responders or first responders who have been injured in the line of duty. Oliver's family father also says that he's hoping for stricter immigration laws following his son's death. Sheriff Bill Leeper with the Nassau County Sheriff's Office also released a statement today saying that they are hoping for justice. They're hoping that it will finally be served and for all of this to be over. Portillo Fuentes' sentencing hearing is set for August. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.